Ah, uh, rusty. <laughs> sure is. All right, here we go. We have sparks. I don't point. know about any live critters, but there have been critters in there. I think this drill may have more power. Probably so. Isaac, what's happening, man? I brought some goodies from the Goody Room. The Goody Room, new projects. <laughs> we got a Rokon, which we need to find parts for. Yep. We got a weird old two-stroke. Jacobson. But today's victim on cars and cameras is this vintage Kawasaki-powered minibike that we know nothing about, and it doesn't run. Yeah. It'll be fine, right? Yeah, so let's get it down and, and really check it out, man, because... Can't have ever seen a Kawasaki tag on a mini bike. Yep. So we still don't have electricity, still don't have plumbing in the new shop, but we're gonna do this mini bike revival in the new shop just to break it in with something a little bit different. Sound good? Yeah, man. No, oh, it doesn't even roll. It'll be fine. Is there a kickstand? No. <laughs> oh, is that bailing wire? Oh, 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 dude, that chain tensioner. That chain tensioner is something, isn't it? This is some top tier cars and cameras work right here. An old piece of rubber or plastic with bailing wire or chain link fence or something? You don't know what that is, do you? No. It's a tire. Really? It's an, uh, like a lawnmower tire or something. One of those ones you don't put air in. Really? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Oh gosh. Ah. Why is it always me? <laughs> oh man, I can't wait to ride that thing. Oh, it's gonna it's gonna look exactly like that. I know. Oh, yeah. So I bought this mini bike about I don't know, about a year ago. I think I gave about forty bucks for it. Dang. Yeah. It's got a Kawasaki FA one thirty on it, which I have no knowledge about. Um, we're gonna cut the chain off, put some air in the tires, check for spark, and uh, see if we can put a little juice to it and see if it'll fire up. See if we can get a rider. Yeah. Sweet. First things first, I'm gonna uh, cut this chain off and see if we got a roller. Watch yourself. Uh, I think the, uh, ah, uh, you know, it'll be all right, right? Yeah. How about Googling this, yeah. this engine code and stuff and see what you find? I mean, I just, ca just Kawasaki FA-130 came up with this exact engine. Yeah, we're suspicious that this is just a rebranded Tecumseh or Briggs. Briggs. It's not going to be a Tecumseh. Oh, but uh, basically a rebranded engine. But we're gonna find out for sure. Yeah, that something is. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say the brakes locked I'm up. Say the brake is locked up. So a little little hammer time. I think we'll get it uh, freed up. This thing has. Yeah, it's a Kawasaki four-stroke engine parts. If I'm not mistaken, that's a light. It's gonna be making power to power up that light. Yep. So might have charging system, boys. I'm just so distracted by that tail fin in the background. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, checking the oil. She is excessively full, but it makes I mean, it might be okay. Ah, uh, rusty. Nice. Yeah. Look, that thing is like. I'll hammer her through, and we'll put her in the wire wheel and clean her up. Sounds good. You can check out that brake too. Yes. I always find these so fascinating when the brake is like inside the sprocket. Pretty cool. 
It looks pretty rusty in there, dude. Yeah, it looks like the the brake um, shoes are kind of fused to the. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna. The drum. Uh, just kind of do a little tappity tap and see what we got. Yeah, the shoes are rusted to the drum. Oh gosh, that's that's pretty uh pretty tight too. But let's, let's give this thing a little tap and see if we can free. I'm gonna take the spark plug out and uh, check for spark. Yes, sir. All right, here we go. We have spark. Wow, look at that. Oh, I forgot about the brake on this thing. So cool, we got spark. Question is, do we have gas and carburetor? Throttle and stuff. Choke works the throttle stuck oh uh, let's take a look inside of this uh fuel tank oh. Ugh. Ugh. that looks terrible it's it's pretty bad dude all right dude uh we have spark uh, but we don't have any movement on this carburetor wow this is oh oh i got movement hey Oh, but uh, it's sticking real bad. It's sticking real bad. I'm pretty sure what we're gonna find on this is the carburetor is trash. I've never seen a carburetor like this before. It looks almost like a Briggs carburetor in the beginning, but it has a diaphragm in the bottom, which I'm assuming is going to be the fuel pump and stuff for picking up the fuel out of this fuel tank. The fuel tank's garbage. The carburetor was stuck. I'm pretty sure this whole system is absolute absolute junk. So I'm thinking maybe we should just skip all that. One, we'll try to crank it up and run it on brake clean. And then we'll go in our stash and see if we can find a carburetor that'll fit this, carburetor and intake that'll fit this engine. You know, go straight to Makuni and a header and uh, go from there. Because finding parts for this carburetor, I bet you are gonna be almost impossible. So what'd you find? Oh, I was looking up parts for this uh, engine, and uh, here we go. No longer available. Oh, there's use whatever. Use no longer available. No longer available. No longer available. No longer available. No lo it, The list just keeps going on and on. So is it a Briggs & Stratton based engine? I think it's a big Briggs & Stratton based engine, like the block and stuff. But I'm pretty sure that's going to be like Kawasaki's carburetor on there and because none of my vintage brig stuff i have a whole horde of it and nothing matches all the way from big block to small block yeah and nothing matches that so the tank's even special yeah everything seems to be just different so uh it's got spark charles hey yeah okay so we're gonna uh do we know if it's a points engine or if it's a cool eh, it doesn't matter I, it's got hey spark. Man, it's matter. got spark i don't care we'll worry about that on on a later date Oh God. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's just disgusting. Any any critters? Maybe, oh yeah. At I don't point. know about any live critters, but there have been critters in there. Eh, that How does off? it come off? Oh. Oh, oh boy. Wow. That's tasty. Boy. I'm gonna, yeah, it looks like water's been getting into it. Oh yeah, that's moist. Oh, that's definitely wet. Great. All right. Well, I mean, let's just see what happens. I'm gonna try some hot sauce in it. Hot sauce for back end. <laughs> um, I'm gonna crank it. You'll you meet shoot it. it. Yeah. Try to keep her running. Okay. All right. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, I don't know what, what kind of garbage is gonna be uh, spraying out of this end. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. <laughs> hey!
Yeah. We'll, we'll clear it out real quick. <laughs> It's a great sign. Yeah, dude. No smoke, no knocking. Perfect. I think it's a perfect candidate for a Makuni and an oil change. Yeah. I think we can change oil. I know this is a side note, but did you see where the oil level sensor is on this? Oh, it's yeah. In it's, the, electric. it's in the other fill plug back here on the side. It and threads in, and, and it's, it's electric. electric. Yeah, yeah it, it goes in just like a... I mean, just like a real car or something like that. It's cool. So, um, I don't. I, I guess I need to do some research on this this light. Like, I mean, I guess this I, is, it, dude, it's got to have a charging system. So I've got the new cable. It's a little bit too long. I've got to trim it to fit. And then the end that I just trim, uh, cleaned up off the old cable will fit right on here. So I've got to trim this. You are something else. Why is that? Using your shoe as a cutoff bench. All right, so I'm gonna fill you guys in a little bit. I've been working. I've got the intake welded up, mocked up. Got some spacers, cause we didn't feel like removing the studs, cause it'll be fine, right? Got this welded, I cocked it this way, and got the carburetor away from the hot exhaust pipe. I'm gonna bolt this thing up, and uh, hopefully Ike will be back in here to hold the camera because I am definitely not a cameraman. What, what you doing there, Isaac? Oh, I'm fixing the the brakes. Let's see if... Uh... Oh, the cable hold down. That's right. Okay. Oh. Might need a little adjustment. But it seems like they work. Yep. It's uh, actually pretty easy because it's right here. Oh, nice. And I don't think I tightened up that handle on the handlebar. So. Alright, that's it. There we oh, go. Oh, yeah. Brakes work. Great. Works great. I just got back from the title office to get a title for the old Clapalac, and the boys are coming right along with the bike. It looks awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, uh, we used our Crossfire Pro to make um, flanges for our little oddball Kawasaki. We, this is the first time we've ever used the Go Power Sports Mini High Flow yeah, Racing Muffler. I like it. I love it, man. It's perfect for this situation. Yeah, it's so small, tiny. Small engine. It won't. It, I mean, I I could see this, you know, maybe being a little bit of a like what would you call a it? restriction on a, a big restriction engine? on a bigger engine, but this is perfect for it. Yeah. So we got a 22 millimeter Makuni, uh, also from Go Power Sports. We're hooking it up with some of their chain. I'll link everything in the description. Anytime you place an order with Go Power Sports, let them know that your boys at Cars and Cameras sent you. We're getting close to a test drive on here, and we'll see what it throws down on the Grand Prix. We got wide open throttle. Yes, sir. All 3.1 horsepower, right? Yeah. 3.1. I think it's going to be like maybe 3.5 because we are going to bypass the governor. Oh, that's true. Man, I really love these cable holders that are on this bike. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, uh, they're they very they're very vintage. All my old bikes have those same things. Cable holders? It holds the cables to the frame. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, that looks... Uh, how about if we... If I, uh, yeah, we're gonna tilt it and I'm gonna break oh, the, the seat is bolted down. Look at that. Look at that. Would you look at it? Oh, look, ah. I didn't even touch the front. What is going on, guys? He's breaking my stuff. I'm gonna have to get longer bolts. Paulie, get back to work on the bike. Mikey, you're doing great, buddy. 
You're doing great. I really love what y'all have done with the place so far. Oh, yeah. You're welcome. Why is that wheel still... Hopefully it's the chain. Yeah. Okay. Alright. That was a little worse. Hey. Sweet. Don't Brakes. Say Don't say it. I know. We ready for a test drive? Uh, as soon as we put gasoline in it. Yeah. Yes, sir. So our little Kawasaki 130 mini bike is ready for a test drive, and then we're going to be sending it around the Grand Prix in all 3.1 horsepower. I think this drill may have more power. Probably so. The uh -oh. choke lever is right, uh, right near the uh, exhaust. Don't blame me. I'm not. I made both of them, but don't blame me. I all made right. the flange, so. Oh, what that? <laughs> Let's try cranking it up. All right, you ready? Yep. Wow, the fire right up. All right. It's that brand new carburetor, boys. That is awesome. Awesome. Go. It's a little dangerous on that side. Yeah. Gotta watch out for that. Will it go? Will it go? Yeah, will it go? It goes. We're going to do the hot lap sequence a little bit differently in today's episode. We're all going to uh, get to know the bike a little bit and then we're going to overlay all our GoPro footage on one frame to play it at the same time so you can see in real time who's ahead of who on the Grand Prix. Oh, and let us know in the comments if you think it turned out good and what else we should add to our Grand Prix experience. Alright! Keep her under control now! Are you ready? Yeah, I hope so. Isaac got the W on today's uh, today's mini bike race. Congrats, dude. What do you think of the bike? Uh, the only thing I can think of to make it better is better tires, maybe a little bit rounder with a little bit more tread, uh, and definitely brakes. Uh, the brakes, it's a whole lot of uh, no thank you. A whole lot of nothing, nothing, of nothing, no nothing, and then, and then right at the end, <laughs> it's like, okay, okay maybe. Yeah, a little bit there. <laughs> So that, that's pretty much it. Everything else is like perfect pull cover. We need a pull cover. Yeah, but this Kawasaki, it's probably a Briggs and Stratton, but this Kawasaki actually does decent in the power department. It, it moves out pretty darn good for, for what it's got. Yeah, so if you enjoyed today's episode, leave us a thumbs up, subscribe to Cars and Cameras for more mini bike content, more Cadillac content, and just everything else that we have going on. Leave us a thumbs up, and we will catch you next time. Sure. Hats, guys. Cars-cameras.com. Speaking of Go Power Sports, they sent us a gigantic banner for the new shop. So we figured now that we have the real estate, let's uh, let's throw up a banner of our biggest and longest sponsor of the show. Yeah, why not? It looks awesome. <laughs> it's and massive. They have, they have this exact version in a sticker. Yep. Yeah, we need a big old it'll be fine banner.
I might cut one with the plasma cutter, just one, one letter at a time. I can do like two feet by four feet on that crossfire. That'd be cool. cool. Oh, Ike, you're just in time to yell at us for being unsafe. Are we being unsafe? Alright, it'd be better if you had your feet at the uh, Yeah, that's what I was doing on the other one. Yeah. Nice banner. Awesome banner.